As a child, we spent a lot of time outdoors. It didn't matter whether it was the ocean, the desert, or the mountains. My parents made sure to expose us to nature. Through those many hours spent outside, I grew to love the forest. It was where I felt the most complete. Humans have existed for thousands of years. Through most of this time, we spent a great deal of our time in nature. We evolved in natural surroundings. Cities have only been a recent invention caused by the industrial age. As a matter of fact, in 1800, only 3% of the population of the world lived in a city. By 2016, that percentage had grown to 54%. The term Shinrin-yoku, coined by the Japanese Ministry of Agriculture, Forestry, and Fisheries in 1982, refers to the act of immersing oneself in the atmosphere of the forest, connecting with its essence. This form of ecotherapy quickly gained popularity in Japan. In the 1990s, researchers began scientifically studying the physiological benefits of forest bathing, confirming what we intuitively know, spending time in nature is beneficial for our well-being. In today's world, where urbanization and indoor lifestyles prevail, our connection with the natural world has become distant. By 2050, it is projected that 66% of the global population will live in cities. Astonishingly, studies sponsored by the Environmental Protection Agency reveal that the average American spends 93% of their time indoors. Recognizing the importance of nature, many of the world's largest cities incorporate parks, trees, and green spaces into their bustling streets. Research published in the International Journal of Environmental Health Research even demonstrates that spending time in urban parks positively impacts one's sense of well-being. Sadly, modern life is full of stimuli that triggers the sympathetic nervous system. This has become normal for us as we engage in our busy lives and live in concrete jungles full of stimulus. All of our physiologic functions evolve in a natural environment. This explains why when we come into contact with nature, we relax. That is because our bodies and our genes were made to be adapted in nature. Going beyond city parks, the stress-reducing practice of forest bathing has been found to have profound effects on our health. Moreover, research reveals that even as little as 10 to 20 minutes spent outdoors each day can lead to increased happiness and well-being. Nature has the power to nourish our souls and enhance our overall quality of life. Shinrin-yoku is a very simple activity. It consists of three parts once you've found a spot of nature to enjoy. Number one, disengage from your daily routine. Number two, deep breathing and nature connection through a series of quiet activities or invitations. And number three, transitioning back to your daily life. While I love being out in nature, there are times in which my schedule doesn't allow for me to be in the forest. At doTERRA, we have developed a blend that contains these same chemical constituents called phytoncides that we find in the air of the forest. Formulated with essential oils rich in terpenes, Shinrin-yoku captures the refreshing experience of forest bathing. It contains important phytoncides like limonene, alpha-pinene, beta-pinene, and linalool, often found in oils known for their comforting, grounding aromas. You can log in and access all of doTERRA's educational courses, including one on Shinrin-yoku. The Shinrin-yoku course includes a 10-minute guided visualization that you can use in addition to diffusing the Shinrin-yoku essential oil blend for a powerful, grounding, and relaxing experience. I look forward to seeing you there.